I'm sure that you know about the proposed settlement of National Association of Realtors in a lawsuit and all the changes that we're going to see in the real estate world. And the biggest change that buyers are going to face in the nearest future is that agents, they're not going to be compensated by the listing agent and buyers need to hire their own buyer's agent. This is why the idea of hiring a real estate attorney becomes more and more popular versus hiring a buyer's agent. This is why I wanted to record this video to explain the pros and cons of each path to become a homeowner. First, let's talk about real estate attorneys. And I cannot speak for any particular attorney. However, I can see some similarities in how they operate. And the first and biggest thing that I love about working with attorneys uh, when they represent a buyer is their ability to draft contracts. They can draft the contract from start to finish, maximizing all the benefits for your particular deal and your particular situation. Also, along the way, if you ever need an addendum, they can legally draft an addendum for you. You'll be surprised, but agents cannot prepare contracts. They can only use contracts provided to them by the Association of Realtors, and they only fill out blank spots such as price, address, names, and terms of the deal. Second, attorneys can take you through the process of being in escrow. They can review the contract and give you this guidelines by what time you need to accomplish what task, such as inspection, appraisal, closing, and anything else that could be in the contract. They can give you their opinion on your inspection report and align it with the seller's disclosure and even advise you on how to properly negotiate with the seller. They can also attend closing with you. However, more and more common, I see that attorney typically review documents ahead of time, give you advice uh, on what are you signing, and you typically attend closing yourself. Let's talk about what real estate agents can do. First of all, real estate agents, comparing to attorneys, they are local experts, and they take in you from very beginning to finish. And they explain you the home buying process. So if you knew or even experienced buyer, they will help you to adjust to the most current trend. They might give you advice on the lender, on any other vendors. They might be involved in the transaction and they will help you understand how this process works. Second, they will take you to the properties that you like and more importantly, they will help you to locate that best property in the best location at the best price, and they will help negotiate best terms. This is something that a real estate attorney will not do. You will have to find property yourself, either on Zillow or any other websites, or go to the open house, or maybe buy it from your family member. However, if you don't have the house to buy, attorney will not going to set up the search. Second thing that agents can do compared to what attorney cannot do is help you with pricing. Real estate agents, they know prices and they know the market and they can compare every single sale of similar property in the neighborhood and advise you this is the right price. They can also help you strategize how to get this property below the market value and all the strategies that they use in negotiation. As you enter in contract, then they're going to take you through the process of being in escrow from start to finish. They will be holding your hand, answering your phone calls on weekend and even evenings. They will attend your inspection. They will connect you with plumbers, with electricians, with surveyors, with everyone that you need in order to make sure that you feel safe. They will help you fight the appraisal report if it comes lower than the purchase price by providing comparable sales to appraiser, and this way they might save you the deal. They'll also attend the closing with you and celebrate the big day. Now, let's talk about the financial part, because it's all about the money. What attorneys charge is very simple. They either go by the price list, price to write a contract, price to attend the closing, 
or most commonly they charge by the hour. Also very commonly, attorneys charge you a retainer that you will have to pay up front in order for them to start representing you. When real estate agents, they typically charge percentage or a flat fee for their services and it's due at the closing. Coming to a conclusion, if you already located the property and all you need is help to write a contract, attorney might be a good way for you. If you need a little more personal touch, guiding you from getting pre-approval to finding a home, to writing a contract, to taking you through escrow and getting to the closing table, celebrating the key in your hands, then going with a real estate agent would be a better choice for you. Comment below, would you rather work with an attorney or old school agents is better choice for you?